Masquera same is Zimbabwe. Welcome to our channel Zoom Confessions and Deep Secrets. Can I get keep tanka go pepper in the channel? Please don't forget to subscribe. Can I join our subscribe? But don't forget to comment and share this video. Nasmere Zimbabwe. Tagi girai nyaya ya budi tukwa ne Zim I Zim I ya buda chitora iyo icheti ah the Zambian president ba kaiende itilema ba budi wa chikonfront president Emerson Munangagwa surunzi the government of Zambia. Yeka sabona the Zimbabwean envoy yeri ku uh, Zambia ya uh, ambassador charity charamba hanzo radezwa in the Zambian government kutuwa uye wachi explain ma comments akaitwa by the president Emerson Munangagwa during his recent visit ya wakaita ku Russia. Munangagwa wakabuda uh, during an interview uh, wachitawana president ku Russia wa Putin during a meeting yakaitwa ku St. Petersburg Australia village as Buddha was told that the West was using Zambia could be one way is isolated Zimbabwe so according to a transcript that I believe during this meeting I'm not going to go about that you but she did Western countries were consolidating their power in Zambia in terms of security and in terms of financial support in the thereby isolating Zimbabwe so Zambia's foreign affairs minister Mulambo Haimbe Faka Buddha Vashitaura Ivo Vashitima comments by President Mnangagwa Were an unwarranted attack on Zambia's sovereignty So the president, the spokesperson So the spokesperson of Mnangagwa Vajoji Charamba Faka Buddha Vashitima The meeting ya kaitwa Na ambassador charity Charity Charamba With the Zambian government Faka Buddha Vashitaura Ivo Vashitima we are aware of the fo we are aware that following a bilateral talks between the president of Zimbabwe and his Russian counterpart, which details were placed in the public domain by the host by the host president, the Zambians reacted by summoning our ambassador Ambassador Charamba to the foreign office. In that meeting, which took place at the foreign affairs of the Republic of Zambia, there was quite some wide representation of various departments of the Zambian government. Here we are going to talk very much about you. But you are going to talk about the Zambian government by the Zambian authorities. And she presented herself to the Zambian foreign office. When she got to know about the misgivings of the Zambians, which she promptly delivered to the head office of the Zimbabwean government, the Zimbabwean government promptly responded to the issue which the Zambians actually raised with us. What that means in diplomatic terms is that the matter is being handled at a bilateral level. Those are the foreign affairs the foreign affairs minister where Zambia Raimbe in the Parliament, Pastora Ivo they lodged a formal complaint against Zimbabwe with the Southern African Executive Secretary, Mr. Elias Magosi, for original, for original intervention. Mometa Iyoye, Pachiramba waka komenda zokari, this issue wa chitaura Ivo. Pachite, Zambia, it was suggested that Lusaka may have lost her faith in bilateral interaction with the Republic of Zimbabwe. Buddha, Mr. Ayachite, if what we are getting is true, suggest that the Zambians have lost faith in the bilateral interaction with the Republic of Zimbabwe, which will be so unfortunate and will not board well for our bilateral relations. It essentially means they are trying to escalate the matter to a sub-regional body, when in fact there is already interaction at a bilateral level, and that interaction has not been exhausted, nor has it hit an impasse. We really regret that the Zambians would have taken such a course because that would be inappropriate given the relationship and also the fact that the two states are communicating. And from the last week, Friday, Vacharamba waka nga Buddha, Vachitauro, Vachipa Marimaksa avo, Vachikomento Marimaksa kapiwa na President Emerson Munangabu kurashia. Kwa Buddha is for the record and for the avoidance of any doubt. President Munangabu stands by his remarks in St. Petersburg which raised well-founded fears, fears for Zimbabwe regarding American intentions and activities in our region, and which voiced and defended Zimbabwe's 
sacrosanct security interests while echoing the collective position of SADC in the African Union against any foreign military presence or activities on African soil. Uh, so, Dr. Patrupita, as long as I'm it seems as if Zambia uh, lose faith in relationship with Zimbabwe. Ne Zimbabwe, it was sick up with someone, the ambassador with Zimbabwe, a charity charamba, could go away, but she would eat a comment on this issue with Zimbabwe. It's as old, no one seen a e could decide going to interfere in this issue. Can I could we as a kind of each lemma? I shall want to say, na President Mason Nangago. Uh, the SADC summit you will come in August. Muharare, two zeros are more from the Pamsuru. Pinyai, comment section. Having verified the veracity of the video through diplomatic channels, government is gravely concerned with its contents, which we consider an unwanted attack on Zambia's sovereignty. Madam Speaker, the peoples of Zambia and Zimbabwe have always enjoyed warm relations from pre-colonial times, such that Zambia provided assistance, including military support, to the Zimbabwean liberation movement and allowed our brothers and sisters in the struggle to operate from Zambia. It is a known fact, Madam Speaker, that Zambia provided a safe haven for those feeling persecuted during that difficult time in our history, and that our founding father, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, played a key role in international diplomacy efforts that led to the eventual independence of Zimbabwe in 1980. On our part, as Zambia, therefore, we have never looked back or regretted having played that crucial unifying role. Nothing has changed since then. Madam Speaker, Zambia is a peace-loving nation whose desire is to pursue friendly relations with all nations, including the republics of Zimbabwe, the Russian Federation, and indeed the United States of America, among others. For example, not too long ago in March this year, Zambia was one of the first countries that called upon the United States of America and the European Union to remove sanctions against Zimbabwe when the United States imposed new sanctions. It is against this backdrop that I wish to state in no uncertain terms that this demonstrates our commitment to the pursuit of neighborly and peaceful relations between the two nations. Regrettably, however, regrettably, however, Madam Speaker, the sentiments expressed by His Excellency President Mnangagwa do not appear to accord with the warm relations highlighted above, hence our concern as government and hence our quest to have this matter decisively and conclusively addressed. In short, Madam Speaker, we wish to reiterate that as a sovereign state, we have no interest in moving away from our long-standing warm relations with either Zimbabwe, Russia, or indeed with our Western partners, nor do we have any desire to pitch one against the other. We are alive to the fact that we, as members of a wider global community, and that in both the regional and continental context, there is need to find a lasting solution to the matters in issue through an appropriate mediation process which should result in measurable outcomes. It is in this context that we have sought the regional body's urgent and immediate intervention in relation to the present and any other matters in seeming contention between Zimbabwe and ourselves.